Did you know that it takes only 13 milliseconds for your brain to process whether you find someone attractive? That's faster than the blink of an eye. In the time it takes to snap your fingers, your brain has already made a judgment. It's a startling revelation, isn't it? This rapid-fire decision-making is part of a fascinating field of study called the psychology of attraction. This branch of psychology delves into the intricate workings of our minds, exploring how and why we are drawn to certain individuals. It's not just about physical appeal or charming personalities. The psychology of attraction goes much deeper, touching on elements of biology, sociology, and even the mysteries of the unknown. So, what's happening in those 13 milliseconds? What complex calculations is your brain performing in that blink and you'll miss it moment? And if attraction is such an instantaneous process, what goes on in our minds that makes it happen? Stay tuned to find out. Believe it or not, attraction isn't just about good looks or a charming personality, it's also deeply rooted in our biology. Let's delve into the fascinating world of evolutionary psychology. Over thousands of years, human beings have developed preferences that have helped us survive and reproduce. Physical attractiveness, for instance, has been historically associated with health and fertility, symmetrical faces, clear skin, and a certain waist-to-hip ratio in women or broad shoulders in men have all been markers of good genes. It's nature's way of saying, hey, this person might make a good mate. But it's not just about the physical. Our noses are also playing a part in the game of attraction. You've probably heard of pheromones, right? These are chemicals that we secrete and unconsciously respond to. They're like invisible messengers, sending out signals about our genetic compatibility to potential partners. The theory goes that we're attracted to people with different immune system genes to our own, a natural way of ensuring our offspring will have a robust immune system. And speaking of genes, let's not forget about the role of genetic compatibility. It's not just about creating strong offspring, but also about long-term compatibility. Researchers have found that couples with more similar DNA tend to have longer, more successful relationships. It seems that our genes are not just influencing who we're attracted to, but also who we stick with. Now, it's important to remember that these are just theories. Attraction is a complex phenomenon, and there's still so much we don't know. Plus, while our biology might play a part, it's not the be-all and end-all of attraction. Cultural, social and personal factors also play a huge role. So, next time you're attracted to someone, remember, it might be your genes talking. But attraction isn't just about biology. Our social environment plays a huge role too. Let's dive into the world of social and cultural factors that shape our sense of attraction. It's like a dance, a fascinating interplay between individuals and the society they inhabit. Now imagine you're at a party. You're more likely to strike up a conversation with someone standing next to you, right? This is proximity at play. It's a simple concept, but it has profound effects on attraction. We are naturally drawn to people who are physically close to us. It's almost as if our hearts have a built-in GPS. Closely related to proximity is the principle of familiarity. It's a comforting thought, isn't it? That the more we know someone, the more attractive they become. It's like our brains are saying, hey, I know you, you're safe, you're predictable, and that makes you attractive. This is the mere exposure effect in action. Familiarity doesn't breed contempt, it fosters attraction, but what about shared interests? Can liking the same music or being fans of the same sports team make two people fall for each other? Well, it seems so. Shared interests create a sense of unity, a common ground, and what's more attractive than someone who just gets you, who shares your passions and understands your quirks? So when we talk about attraction, it's not just about the person, it's about the context, the shared experiences, the environment in which the attraction blossoms. Cultural norms and societal expectations also come into play, shaping our perceptions of attractiveness. What's considered attractive in one culture may not be in another, highlighting the fluidity of attraction. But let's not forget, attraction is complex, dynamic, constantly evolving. It's influenced by a myriad of factors, both biological and social. And while science can provide some answers, it's our own personal experiences and perceptions that truly define who we find attractive. It seems then that who we fall for isn't just about who they are, but also where they are. Ever wondered why you're attracted to certain personalities? Well, psychology has some answers. When it comes to the world of attraction, personality plays a pivotal role. It's not just about the physical allure or the social status, it's often the quirks, the demeanor, the way someone laughs or how they handle stress that really draws us in. One of the key aspects is similarity. Yes, you heard it right. 
we tend to be attracted to people who are similar to us in attitudes, values and interests. From a psychological perspective, this makes sense. Similarity breeds connection, understanding and predictability. It's comforting to be with someone who gets you, who sees the world through a similar lens. This is often why we, we find ourselves drawn to people who share our hobbies, our taste in music or even our sense of humour. But then there's also the concept of complementarity, the idea that opposites attract. Some research suggests that we're drawn to people who have qualities we lack, who challenge us and bring balance. For instance, an introvert might be attracted to an extrovert's outgoing nature, or a spontaneous individual might appreciate the predictability of a planner. This dynamic can create a fascinating interplay, a give and take that keeps the relationship vibrant and exciting. However, it's important to note that while opposites may initially attract, similarity tends to be more important for long-term relationship success. A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that couples who share similar values and attitudes are more likely to stay together in the long run. So what does this all boil down to? It suggests that while a dash of difference can certainly spice things up, shared traits and values form the backbone of lasting attraction. It's the combination of similarity and complementarity that creates a magnetic pull, a connection that goes beyond the surface. So, it seems that when it comes to attraction, opposites don't always attract. But what about that elusive X factor, that inexplicable spark that sometimes exists between two people? It's the question that has stumped many a scholar, psychologist and hopeless romantic. What exactly is this X factor in attraction? While it's not entirely tangible or quantifiable, there are a few theories that may help us better understand this phenomenon. First, let's talk about mystery. It's no secret that humans are inherently curious creatures. We're drawn to the unknown, the enigmatic, the unexplored. Some psychologists suggest that this X factor could be attributed to the sense of mystery that surrounds a person. When someone is a bit elusive or hard to figure out, it piques our interest and keeps us coming back for more in a bid to unravel the puzzle they present. Next up is excitement, the thrill of the new, the adrenaline rush of a shared adventure, the heart-pounding anticipation of what's next. These are elements that can create an X factor in attraction. Excitement can make someone seem more attractive because it triggers a release of dopamine in our brains, a chemical associated with pleasure and reward. Finally, let's delve into chemistry. No, not the periodic table kind, but rather an intangible connection that can't be explained by looks, shared interests or mutual friends. It's the spark that flies when two people just click, a sense of understanding and rapport that's almost instantaneous. Many believe that this chemistry is the true X factor in attraction, a factor that transcends logic and reason. So there you have it. The X factor in attraction might be an elusive blend of mystery, excitement and chemistry. It's the wild card, the joker in the pack, the final piece of the puzzle that makes two people irresistibly drawn to each other. But remember, Attraction is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that goes beyond just these elements. Each person is unique and what attracts one may not necessarily attract another. So even with all our knowledge about attraction, there are still some things that remain a tantalizing mystery. So what have we learned about the psychology of attraction? From our journey so far, we've unraveled a myriad of layers, each playing its unique part in the grand tapestry of attraction. We started with the biological basis, the primal instincts that drive us towards potential partners. The symphony of hormones and neurotransmitters, the subtle allure of physical features, and the powerful pull of genetic compatibility. Yet this is just the tip of the iceberg. Then we dove into the social factors, the weight of societal norms, cultural preferences, and the influence of our upbringing, the shared experiences, the common values, and the mutual interests. These elements make up the framework within which attraction operates. They shape our perceptions of what is desirable and what is not. Next, we explored the power of personality, the magnetism of confidence, the charm of humor, the allure of intelligence, the ways we communicate, the values we hold, and the passions we pursue. These are the unique colors that paint the portrait of who we are, and it's these colors that can draw others towards us like moths to a flame. But attraction isn't a simple equation. It's not about ticking boxes or meeting criteria. It's a complex dance, a delicate balance of these biological, social and personality factors. 
Each layer interacts with the others, influencing and being influenced. This interplay creates a dynamic, ever-changing puzzle that is as fascinating as it is complex. So it's clear that attraction isn't just a matter of heart, it's a symphony composed by nature and nurtured by our personal and social experiences. It's a puzzle that we're all trying to solve, sometimes consciously, sometimes subconsciously. And while we may not have all the answers, we certainly have a deeper understanding of the intricate workings behind this universal human experience. So next time you feel that spark, remember there's a whole world of psychology behind it. Hope you found this exploration into the psychology of attraction fascinating. If you did, show some love by hitting that like button. Sharing is caring, so don't hesitate to share this video with your fellow psychology enthusiasts. Don't forget your thoughts and insights are valuable, so drop a comment below. To journey further into the captivating realm of psychology with us, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of psychology.